In today's video, we're going to learn how to create this game. I'm just kidding. This is a game that I've been working on and you should, guys should check it out when it's done. But in today's video, we're going to do something different. In today's video, we're going to learn how to create a new project, how to navigate Unity and how to use Unity's tools. Unity may be confusing at first, but it's easier than you think. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Enough talk. Let's open this little cute icon right here. Right click, open. So first thing, when you want to create a new project, you hit new project. And here you can you can see a bunch of different templates that you can choose from. But why? Why do you want to choose a template? I mean, just go to project name, give your project a name, my cool game, and click create project. You might wait a long time here because this really depends on your PC specs. So let it load, go grab some snacks, and I'll be back. You See you next year. Okay, so you might be like, what am I looking at? It's simple. It's very easy. You see here, there's six main panels. Hierarchy, project, scene, game, inspector, and console. Hierarchy is like a base. Everything that is in the scene should go in here for example if you open root layout and cube you can see here that this is the cube right now there's a project project where you upload all your assets or you um save all your assets and scripts and so on if you can't see this panel right here click on the three dots and uh choose two column layout now the scene and the game are obvious as you can see the scene where you can edit and adjust the position of the items and the uh, everything in the scene basically and the game view which is how your game will look like for example if i choose this um cube right here and move it you can see here it's moving on the game view now there's console so the console is used for debugging uh as for the inspector the inspector here is everything uh Basically, the inspector is going to hold everything they're going to be working on. The transform of the assets, the transform of the models, and then the uh, components uh, that you're going to add. Everything is related to the assets will be uh, in the inspector. So this is the most important one. So to enable lighting, you have to go window, and then you have to go rendering, and then you're going to uh, choose lighting. Or you can do control and nine. Once you do that, you can just drag and drop this into the, uh, or next to the inspector. Now, as you can see here, you can just drag, like you can hold and drag the panels around. You can do whatever you want with them, um, whatever makes you feel comfortable. And for example, the scene, if you double click on it, this should enable full screen. And if you double click again, on it again, it should minimize the screen. Same goes for game and for basically everything, uh, everything else. So customize your own layout and see what you, you feel comfortable with and use it. So the game view has simulator and it also has displays. So the game, if you, if you choose a simulator, here you can choose whatever display you want. For example, a Google Pixel 5 or iPhone 12 Pro Max. And here you can adjust the scale and you can do fit to screen basics tools are tools are basics i'm gonna give you a quick example and overview on how to use the tools first i'm gonna drag the game and put it right here just to work with the scene and then i'm gonna select the scene again now to move around with the the camera you can hold the mouse button like the scroll wheel and then if you want to uh, move up and down hold right click and then click w a s d on your keyboard or e and Q while holding the right mouse click. I'm gonna leave the shortcuts on the screen so you can see them. And if you wanna zoom in and out, you can do scroll up and scroll down. And if you wanna move around, you can just click left click and move around with the camera. Same goes for the right click. Now the move tool is just to move around with the camera. As for the, I'm sorry, the hand tool, and then there's the move tool. If you select an object, you can move it on the Z, X, Y axis. And then you can do Ctrl Z to go back and to revert the changes and do the changes. As for the rotation, basically you can just rotate, you can rotate the object on the Y, X and Z axis. And the scale tool is used to change the size of the object. The rack tool is used to change the size and the position of the object. So for example, I can change the position and the size at the same time. And the transform tool does it all at the same time. You can move the object, you can scale it, and you can also rotate it and that's it for the tools those are the only tools that you're going to be using later on you might also use the other tools on top here for example you can enable the gizmos click on 2d if you want to have a better view the studio you should see the sign in button right here if you click on it this will ask for your password and your username so but just log in with your username and password uh and click login now that's done you can click on the play icon right here if you click on the play icon your avatar should spawn on the game now you can see my avatar has loaded and we can move around by holding left alt and the mouse you can also zoom in and out now if you want to spawn another player just go to high rise studio and choose virtual player once you spawn a virtual player it will spawn next to you and again you can drag the panel and put it whatever you want i'm gonna put it right here for example and that's it that's basically it. that's everything you need to know now if you want to pause the game basically click pause and if you want to exit this player mode you can do uh, play again and now if you want to get rid of the virtual player you can just do right click and close tab and that's it now that was everything regarding unity i hope everything was easy it's not that hard to understand 
and I'll see you in the next video. Now, the next video is going to be really exciting because we're going to learn how to import assets and how to start customizing your world. After that, we're going to learn how to start writing scripts. And until then, stay safe and we'll see you in the next episode.